Hi, I'm TechSynth. This is the Lenovo Flex 5, and I'm about to review it right now. So, the Lenovo Flex 5 I'm going to be talking about in today's video is the top of the range i7 model. This laptop is part of Lenovo's IdeaPad line, and this specific laptop, as well as having a Ryzen 7 processor, has 8 gigs of DDR4 RAM, 512 gigs of SSD storage, and Windows 10 in S mode. But for those of you who haven't got a clue what that means, let me explain. Starting with the i7 processor, this is ideal for completing most tasks you could ever imagine on your laptop. It has gaming grade performance and supports Intel Iris graphics. The 8 gigs of memory allow for excessive multitasking with loads of different things open all at the same time. And the 512 gig SSD gives the laptop a cheeky little boost in performance when booting up and opening anything saved on it. In terms of looks, it's a little on the chunky side, I can't lie. But don't let that put you off because the screen is definitely a talking point. The Lenovo Flex 5 has a full HD touchscreen and very narrow bezels, so there is more screen than ever before. In other words, very nice indeed. With regards to ports, this laptop is conveniently fitted on the left with one USB 3.1 Type-C port, a HDMI port and an audio jack as well as a power input. On the right we can see an SD card reader and two USB 3.1 ports. My favourite thing about all this though is that you can plug in multiple displays, improving productivity and the use that you can get out of this laptop by fully leveraging the performance that the i7 processor brings to the table. Battery life is always an important thing to consider when purchasing a laptop, which is why Lenovo decided to remove this as a potential problem by fitting it with a lithium polymer battery which results in an average battery life of 10 hours, which is fantastic, I must say. The Lenovo Flex 5 actually comes with a lot of cool little extras. For example, the laptop has four different modes which it can be switched to based on how you use the laptop. This helps improve battery life or at the other end of the scale, improve performance. It also has a built-in fast charging feature which allows two hours of use from just a 15 minute charge. If that's not something to smile about, then I don't know what is. User facing Dolby Atmos speakers are also strapped to this machine, allowing a fully immersive viewing experience. The coolest feature of all though is that this laptop is compatible with Lenovo's Active Pen. Unfortunately this is sold separately, but I'll whack an affiliate link to it in the description of this video if that's something you'd want to consider, and I would definitely recommend it. So, in conclusion, what are my honest opinions on this laptop? Well, let me tell you. It is a great laptop, bearing in mind the price, and offers decent gaming performance. Personally, I think you should get quite excited about this laptop. I recently did a review on an alternative laptop, the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7, which is about £50 more. You can see this review by clicking the pop-out banner. But I honestly think that you get more bang for your buck with this laptop, and especially if you compare it with the i7 version of the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7. That's about it for this review. I hope you found it helpful, and if you did, make sure to smash like and subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss any future videos. But with that being said, I'll see you in the next one.